Hello, and welcome to the short board on Parshas Mitzvah with the Eloi Nishmas Avi Mori Naftali Ben Yitzchak Isaac. I think we have four gems of 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 lush and horror pieces, but not what you might think. So the first one is from the Moor of Shemesh and Perik Yudalit Pesuk Beis. The Parsha starts Zosti Torah Samashor This is the Torah of the Mitzvah. From this, he says there's a hint about a person who's a Baal Lashon Hara who habitually talks improperly, uh, forbidden speech, that he rationalizes, or she, what they're saying. And that's why when it says those Torah and Mitzvah, it said the Torah that the Mitzvah makes up, their own shita, their own opinion, their own rationalizations. Number two, those Tia Torah and Mitzvah, Huva Ela Kohen. The Chafetz Chaim Ela Torah says that you bring... Uh, the per, the Mitzora, the person who has saras has the proceed to the kohen. Why to the kohen and not to a doctor? Because a doctor doesn't heal this. This is not a physical ailment. This is a spiritual ailment that comes specifically because of the improper things that the person said, the lashon hara that they said. Therefore, you need the the kohen who's a sifse kohen nishmu das, who's careful with what they say and keep their lips holy. So that's the one who both makes it to, to, pronounces the person tahar tame and pronounces them tar after they've done proper teshuva. Number three is we have um, from the Sefer Shemir, Salashim by the Chafetz Chaim, Shara Zahir Perk Zion. So it talks there that the, the vapor of the mouths of the school children, that's what sustains the world. Hevel Piyam Shal Tinoka Shal Beis Rabbim is what the Olam Kaye is is Kayamad, is sustains that. That even though these students, these little kids, they don't appreciate the Kedusha that they're saying if they're learning Chumash or or they're doing a mitzvah in class or outside of class. They they don't understand at all what, what they're saying, uh, but they do it. That sustains the, the world and there's great uh, you know, power to that. A mushal that he gives is that if there's an Ani, a poor man who had found a, a an amazing gem um, and he brought it to the king and it was something that fit for to be in the crown of the, the king, the royal crown. So it was put there, and this poor man suddenly became very wealthy. He didn't know the value of what he brought. He knew it was worth something, but he didn't fully appreciate it. Yet, despite that lack intellectually knowing, it had, he got rewarded because of the reality of what the value was. And that is the same thing regarding Torah and mitzvos. When we do something positive and proper, that there is reward, even if we don't fully comprehend it. And has on the opposite. If someone does an Avera, someone speaks Lashon Hara, that's going to make things bad, going to bring Tuma to the world. But if you do things right and you restrain from saying Lashon Hara, then there's reward for every moment of not saying Lashon Hara. And this reward actually protects a person from Gehenna. And finally, what you think Talmud Torah is versus what it really is, what the obligation for a man is. The so Chavetz Chaim also says in Sefer Shmir Lashon that the, chay, the chiyav of Talmud Torah for Bala Bayis is not to learn all day and all night and not do any business, not to be involved with the world. Rather, rakshi is asik be'esik be'igbat itin la Torah. You're involved with the world, you do business, but you have to set time for learning Torah. And when you do the uh, business with people, whether it's you know financial business or interacting with your family and friends and neighbors, you have to do it, you do it honestly, um, without any cheating, without any tricks. And that's one of the things that we get asked after 120 years. Did you do business with integrity? So, you know, we see from this that, that it's not that, it, that you have to be, you know, nonstop Torah, but you have to not rebel from Hashem's will. You have to fulfill what He wants. And therefore, Talmud Torah is part of it. Um, and also to stay away from the uh, the things that you're now allowed to, to be involved with and to stay away from Lashon Hara. So we see just the value of being careful of of, of not saying Lashon Hara, not saying improper speech, whether it's uh, curse words or bad things about other people or, or anything that's improper, which could be generating a tremendous reward beyond our comprehension. So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.